Welcome, welcome. I'm Elizabeth Nixon from Clap for Classics. This is Charlotte, and we're here for our Wednesday weekly mini music class. And today's theme is again. scarves. So if you have a second, if you don't have one already, go grab a scarf. Charlotte and I have ours. If you don't have a scarf, you could grab a dishcloth or a little piece of fabric or um, a like a, a baby blanket would work. Charlotte's got a baby blanket she's going to use for one of the songs. So grab something real quick. It's right there. We are going to start, as we always do, with our welcome song from Berlioz. <clears throat> Here we go. Welcome friends, it's time for music. Welcome friends, it's time for fun. Singing, dancing, great composers. Music is for everyone. All right, let's just dive right in. We are gonna sing our first song. Here's our little scarf. And this is a song, are you blowing your nose? Yeah, <laughs> That's silly. All right, we're gonna do our first song is called The Slide. Who likes to go on a slide here? Do you like to slide? Yeah. We haven't been on a slide in a while, but we love to slide, don't we? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna make our scarf get to go on the slide. So first, before you go on a slide, you have to climb up, right? Climb, here climb, we go. Climb, 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 so high, so high, so high, so high. So high. Watch me as I slide down so low. So low, so low. Very good. Can you shake your scarf high? Shake it way up high in the sky. Whoa, you just got me in the face. <laughs> Can you shake your scarf low? Low, 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 low. Can you make your voice go high? Can you say, I can sing high, I can sing high. Oh, I forgot, I have a friend waiting to come in. My friend is named Hilo, and it's a kangaroo. Come on in, Hilo, can you hop in? My kangaroo, my friend is a kangaroo. Can you hop like a kangaroo for a second? Can you show me how a kangaroo can hop? Hop, hop, Hilo, give us some hops. Give us some hops. Why do you think Hilo is named Hilo? Because <laughs> he hops. Because he hops high and low. And high and low. And high and low. Very good. And our voices can go high and low too. I can sing high, I can sing high, I can sing high. And our voices can sing low notes. I can sing low, I can sing low, I can sing low. Very good. All right, thank you, Hilo. Hilo is part of our, he makes an appearance in our May course that's about to come out May 1st, our monthly subscription course. So he will, uh, actually it's a she, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hilo, it's our, it's our mother kangaroo. She's got a pouch. <laughs> She makes an appearance in our in our course. All right, thank you, Hilo. We'll see you later. Let's sing one more time. Climbing, climbing up, 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 up so high, so high, so high, so high. Watch me while I fly down so low, so low, so low. Very good. Hey, stop blowing your nose. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, the Goodrums are here. Hi, Goodrums. We've got Claire and Kate and Lena. You want to say hi? hi? Say hi to our friends. I'm so glad you guys are here too. All right. So we talked about high and low. Now we're going to do some listening. We're going to put on our good listening ears. Can you put on your good listening ears? Put them on. We are going to listen to some music by a composer named Saint-Saëns. He wrote the Carnival of the Animals. And if you've been following along with me, you know we've been studying Carnival of the Animals for a while. And this piece, we're going to try to guess what the animal could be. You're going to stop blowing your nose. <laughs> uh, this piece, let's listen to just a little bit of it. And I want you to hear if the music is high or the music is low. All right, let's go ahead. in a minute turn it back to the beginning for me the instrument that was playing i have just a picture of it i'm going to hold it up close this is a flute the instrument that is playing in this piece is the flute and it plays very high notes doesn't it they're beautiful so this animal is an animal that lives up high 
high in the trees, high in the sky. This animal, if you notice the music was kind of fluttery and fast moving. What do you think the animal could be? What animal was Sasson writing about when he wrote that music? Do you have a guess? I know. Mm, what do you think it could be? It, uh, it, uh, what do you think it could be? Something that lives up high in the trees in the sky. Oh, did you find my bird puppet? It's a bird. You're right. This piece is actually called the aviary. And an aviary is a place where lots of birds live. So let's listen again. And if you would like to fly your scarf around the room, you can pretend you are a bird. Oh, and the good room said bird too. Very good. You're right. It's a bird. All right. So we're turning the music on again. Either flap your wings like a bird, let your scarf fly like a bird, and let's listen to the beautiful flute music of the aviary. All right. Here we go. finger and grab your scarf like this. We're going to work on some of our, our pre-writing muscles right now. So this is more for parents' information. The kids won't realize what they're doing, but use your two fingers and this is going to help your little grip and work on some of those muscles. Okay, we're going to shake our scarf high and shake it low. And we are going to shake in a circle. No, Can you shake in a circle? No, Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> Good job. Can you make a circle? Can you make lines back and forth like this? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. How about up and down? All right, if you are watching me with a child and wanna type their name in, we're gonna do some letters. I know I've got Andrew. If you wanna to try to make an A for Andrew, can we try to make an A? We're gonna start at the top and we're gonna make a line down and go back to the top and a line down and then we're gonna cross in the middle. We've got a Charlotte here. We're gonna, can we make a C like a Charlotte? Start at the top and curve around. And it might be backwards on my screen for you. Good job. Let's see, I know we've got a Claire here. There's a C for Claire as well. Can you make a C with your scarf? Good, and there's a Kate. Let's try to make a Kate. Our, we're gonna start at the top, one line down, then go back up. Line over and out. Very good. We can make shapes with our scarves, can't we? We can do lots of things and we're working on our muscles. <clears throat> All right, very good. Oh, and Rosie's here now too. Hi, Rosie. Let's make an R for Rosie. A line down, back to the top, around and out for R for Rosie. Good job. We've got a Victoria. Can we make a V for Victoria? Start at the top, come down in a slant and up. Very good, V for Victoria. It's also, you could also make some shapes on the floor with your scarf, which would be fun. If you can, I can make a V with my scarf on the ground. It's hard to do it in the air. Oh, maybe with a friend. Look, I can make a V for Victoria with my scarf. That would be another fun project to do with your scarf. All right, but let's, let's, let's sing one more song, unless I have any more friends popping in. Okay. All right, our last song that we're going to do is kind of a fun one. We're going to pretend our scarf is the sun, shining bright, and then we're going to have the sun, the rain coming down, 
rain coming down. Oh, can you use this one? Because we're going to show our friends a special thing. Okay, that's all right. The sun is shining bright. The sun is shining bright. Oh, how I love the warmth. The sun is shining bright. The rain is falling down. The rain is falling down. Oh, how I love the sound. The rain is falling down. Now you're going to take your scarf and put it in your hands and hide it. The flowers start to bloom. The flowers start to bloom. Oh, how I love the sight. The flowers start to bloom. So this song is kind of fun. We get to use our imaginations and let our scarf come to life. But we're also doing a song about spring and also about our senses. So when we're talking about the warm sun, what sense are we using? Our sense of feel, right? When we feel the warmth of the sun and when we, when we hear the sound of rain, that's using our hearing. And when we see the beautiful flowers blooming, that's using our sight. Let's sing it again. The sun is shining bright. The sun is shining bright. Oh, how I love the warmth. The sun is shining bright. The rain is falling down. The rain is falling down. Oh, how I love the sound. The rain is falling down. The flowers start to bloom. The flowers start to bloom. Oh, how I love the sight. The flowers start to bloom. Very good. All right. That was kind of a fun one. Well, I'm so glad you joined me today for our shaker song. We learned about high. We learned about low. We talked about our senses. And we did some letter writing practice, didn't we? Lots of fun things with a scarf today. All right, I wanted to let you know about two more things. We have done an egg shaker class and a rhythm stick class and a forte and piano class. And you can find all of those um, a couple of different places. You can find them on YouTube. And um, they're here on Facebook, but they're a little bit harder to find on Facebook. So you can check out our YouTube channel or our blog. And we've got all of our mini classes posted there. And that's at clapforclassics.com slash blog. So you can find all of our mini classes get put there. If you're on our email list, you will also get, oh, Andrew liked the flowers blooming. I'm so glad that was fun. Um, if you're on our email list, you'll also get an email sent to you that has the class uh, just in a nice format. If you want to come back to it and do it again. So make sure you check that out. If you want to get on the list, just go ahead and send me a message and I'll get you added. Uh, also, May is coming soon, and our next Carnival of the Animals course for our subscription, um, our, su our subscribers is coming out May 1st. We're so excited. Charlotte and I have been busy recording and editing videos and getting it all ready for you. We're studying four new movements of Carnival of the Animals, and we've done a little sneak peek today of some of what you're going to see in that course. So if you're interested in more details about that course and want to know what, what it is I'm talking about, go to clapforclassics.com slash monthly music and you'll see all the information about it. We've still got a coupon code for $19 off, which is your first month free. So you can try it out without, uh, you know, risk-free and see if you like it. Also, a little kind of hint, if you get subscribed before April 1st, you are before May 1st, which is on Friday. So anytime before uh, Friday, you will get access to the April course as well and then you'll also have the may the may course which comes out on may 1st so get subscribed in the month of april and you'll get access to both of those um courses this week so we hope you will check them out if you're interested and keep coming back to our wednesday 11 a.m eastern time with our mini music class we'll be back next week all right you want to say bye to our friends bye. thanks for tuning in guys we'll see you next time